Neither Mama nor Eloy have been particularly well these past couple of days. Eloy has barely left the hut. They've sent word to the medic living in the Aquana village, asking for medicine, and he's sent a boat to pick them up and bring them to his clinic. The film crew and myself were screened for all infectious diseases before we came here, so the illness might be due to food, insects or contact with traders on this river. There are a lot of diseases in the jungle, but a fair few of them have been brought in from the outside, and those diseases the local inhabitants, the indigenous peoples, have no immunity to or traditional cures for. And so more and more these days, they are reliant upon Western medicines and cures. Although the Sanama may at times feel exploited by the Aquana, the relationship doesn't appear to be one of animosity. Together they have established an association to protect the rights of both ethnic groups. The medic is a Yakwana from this village, trained on a government grant to administer medicines throughout the area. It's clear to me now why, despite some unhappiness, the Sanama are not keen to move away from this place. Traditional medicine still continues in this Sanama society. The shamans, after all, are first and foremost healers. A young baby is sick, and so the shaman is drawing out the evil spirits that have caused the illness. <laughs> <laughs> 